How's it going everyone, Rock here, and today we're going to be bringing you an awesome Gears of War 5 video we're going to be discussing a couple of things that Gears of War has announced. We're also going to be talking about the full list of achievements and going to be going over a couple of them as well and we're going to be talking about the Seriously 5.0. But yeah guys, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's tuned in today for this video. If you are getting excited for Gears of War 5, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're new around here guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button because more than 75% of you guys are not subscribed to this channel and I would love it if you guys could join the Raw Army. Now guys, let's jump into this. Hope you do enjoy. So starting off guys, we see that the whole of the Collision Studios managed to post today saying that they have went live and they have went gold and the game is now on the store and also for everybody to pre-order. Uh, but guys, this is awesome news, there's no going to be any delays, we're going to be getting the game in the full release uh, early on the 6th of September and also for globally 1st September the 10th, which is absolutely awesome. So I'm happy the Gears and the Collision have managed to focus on the game and get it out for the right time. And we're really looking forward to this man. If you guys are excited for Gears 5 as well, then let me know what you're most looking forward to. Are you looking forward to the campaign, which we're going to be getting to see some gameplay next week, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Seeing some of the brand new changes, I'm also going to be getting to see some of the environment and maybe get some gameplay as well, which I'm also looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to maybe getting more of the escape, getting more involved in that and trying the new leaderboards and all the cool things that they're going to be doing with that and adapting to that. Uh, obviously the multiplayer, the tech test was absolutely awesome, I really did enjoy it, but obviously you're very limited to the two maps and kind of the game modes, but I'm really going to be looking forward to the actual multiplayer, which obviously the tech test was a massive success in my opinion, it was a lot, a lot of fun, if they tweak a few things that the community has gave back in some of the information, then we have got ourselves a really good game for the next few years, and I'm really excited to just be, I'm really excited to be diving in and actually playing the new maps, playing the new game modes, new characters, getting content out and just being back on that grind because obviously this is the month right now we're playing Gears of War 4 and we're waiting for Gears 5. It's a very very stale bit at the moment and just trying to get through and not missing anything and it just it is a bit of a bore and I mean playing the game for so long it kind of dwells on you so I'm really looking forward to playing Gears 5 and getting brand new content made and having fun with it. Alright guys, so Gears of War has also posted that the brand new achievements have been announced and we get to see an in-depth of what we're going to be getting uh, for the full game of scores and we're also going to be looking at the Seriously 5.0 and what we have to do for that. Okay guys, so over the full game there's going to be 71 achievements over multiplayer, escape, campaign, etc. Uh, if we go down a little bit, we de so if we go down guys, we're going to be getting a list of each and single one. It tells you the name, it tells you how much you're going to be getting and it gives you a little brief description. You can see here guys, my body is ready, complete boot camp. So a lot of people have already done that in a tech test, but obviously you don't get any achievements for doing that, so we're gonna have to do it again. But if you just scroll down, you guys can read these. Uh, it takes three to make a go right, uh, jack of one trades, I was born in a crossfire hurricane, back Attica, uh, back on your feet soldier, shock and awa, uh, send ninja, an enemy among us, a gimme gimme gimme, jack of all trades, jacked up, relic hunter, now you can see here guys, uh, Relic Hunter, equip three Relic weapons at one time in campaign now. What's a Relic weapon? I don't know, but that sounds quite cool to me. Equip three weapons, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what that means. Um, obviously if we go down a bit more, Relics of the Past kill an enemy with every Relic weapon in the game. So we're going to be finding out guys, if you guys know what that is then let me know. But I don't actually know what a Relic weapon is, so I'm really looking forward to all these kind of new things that we're just going to be having to... Uh, find out on day and just play the game and uh, during act one there's nothing to buy timeshare and here's all yours now you gotta get up again a mouthful of boom you guys get the drift i'm just going to scroll down through each one and you can see all these ones and they're for the campaign guys and pennies from heaven is the final one there now escape and map builder achievements these are separate from the actual campaign uh past the soap master of the domain who gonna call Hive Busters? That is a great little reference there that I saw. Obviously, who you gonna call Ghostbusters, but who you gonna call Hive Busters? So I thought that was really funny when I was reading these. And uh, hopefully, guys, there's gonna be awesome achievements to actually grind for. Um, 
when it comes to achievements, I mean, I am not one of those hardcore diehard, it has to get every single achievement. I obviously make content, I obviously stream, I obviously like to make and just do things in my own pace and just play the game. I'm more of a competitive multiplayer person and I just want to play multiplayer most of the time. But I always play campaign and I always try and get some achievements. Uh, but some of you guys out there that I know have gotten every single achievement for each single Gears of War game and for many other games as well but for, especially for Gears of War people are dedicated to the scene and dedicated to actually get every single one and I take my hat off to you guys well done who is the skate main master of the skate artist I made it all myself in homegrown hive build your own escape hive guys so we're gonna be able to build our own hives build our own escape maps build their own multiplayer maps in one time I mean that's going to be absolutely amazing in my opinion the map builder is going to be a huge part of the franchise and I can see myself uh, playing a lot of your guys maps if you guys like to do that kind of things then I'm going to be doing that I'll be doing it on stream I'll be playing them and then making videos on them um, I feel like this is a huge part for the community because there's a lot of people who have got such creative minds out there that are wanting to obviously just do things like this for the community uh, maybe they're not the best at the game, but they can make an awesome map. So that really does help some people in that way. Obviously, we've seen the rise of Fortnite, uh, but obviously the creative mode, and it's crazy what you can do in that game. So hopefully that they've got the same kind of mindset as Fortnite is going down, and we can just see a massive growth in Gears of War. That's what I'm hoping, in my opinion. Now, guys, you can see here we've got some of the horde achievements. So I'm looking really forward to this. Uh, you can't stop now. Obviously, I'm going to be playing Horde. I'll make a few videos on it, uh, but I'm going to leave the Horde Masters to it. <laughs> and maybe I might get some people from my subscribers uh, to help me out in some of the maps and some of the levels and some of the achievements if you guys would like to do that in the time when it comes out. Now, this is when I'm getting excited the versus achievements. You can see here, play an arcade. Uh, switch characters in an arcade match and get a kill with each person that you killed. Uh, five matches on arcade. Uh, place in the machine, obviously get your first placements for rank placements. In grind season, this is when a rank match in each week of the rank season now. That's going to be a grind, but obviously I'm ready for it and I'm really excited to play this game. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of other people will be putting in the time to make sure they get these achievements. Now the progression in other achievements is another thing guys, so you can see here that there's a shy uninterrupted, uh, kill one and a teammate, um, a good plan, violently executed, 100 rejects in any mode, uh, you've got a friend in me, that's another kind of little reference there, you've got a friend in me, and that's from Toy Story, so I mean I don't know guys, maybe it's just me uh, thinking about this, but maybe they've got some references and little easter eggs and stuff like that, um, that we're going to be finding out about when the game comes out. I'm really looking forward to the campaign and just seeing all the easter eggs because Gears 4 had some awesome ones and I'm sure there's still one easter egg that has not been fully discovered yet. Maybe you guys can let me know down below but I'm sure there's still one on Gears 4 that hasn't been actually done yet and I'm sure there's one for Gears 3 that's never been done but I'm not quite sure, maybe I'm wrong there when it comes to that. But you can see here's a few more BFFs, uh, obviously that's a tier 4 level and 5 gear allies. Uh, Re-up and when we scroll down a little bit guys this is what we're actually wanting to look at the most important thing here now this is the main one that i wanted to talk about guys in this little thing here seriously 5.0 chapter one a lot of people missed that but then obviously it did come across when people were talking about it and were excited about seriously 5.0 and what you had to do so you've got to complete insane campaign you've got to master a horde you've got to escape launch maps and characters you've got to get re-up 20 and reach general in tour of duty so that's the tour of duty thing that um, the more progression the more you play you're going to be getting things and we managed to get to i think private one or private three in the actual tip test so obviously you can work your way right up through all the things by getting achievements and also by getting unlocks and all this kind of awesome cosmetic stuff that's going to be in the game while you're going up right to the max to general which will be awesome but it says here guys chapter one so we don't know what that really means right now uh, ryan did post a little snippet saying we're going to find out very soon so i'm thinking when you complete one part you're going to actually have to do another chapter and um, to complete the actual full achievement so maybe when you do the first part you're going to have to do chapter two it could be chapter three i'm not quite sure but it's not just going to be this one achievement you're going to have to grind your ass off and i believe it's going to take a little bit longer but i'm sure there still will be those diehard people out there 
But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. I just wanted to sit down, kind of make a video, uh, show you some of the achievements and I'll put a link down below as well guys if you didn't know about this. I uh, just wanted to make a video for you guys. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Peace.